Before we add this logo to the remaining 11 in this document, it needs to be positioned correctly. To do that, I'm going to go to the window menu and then go down and open the transform panel. It contains many of the same options that the properties panel does, but it's a little smaller and it's easier to have the two things side by side in here, the logo and the options. Now, if you recall in a previous video, we looked at this element here called the reference point. Now that allows us to pin a selected object in a specific area, knowing that the each of the squares in the reference point replicate one of the handles on the bounding box of the selected object. At the moment it's set to the center and you'll notice then just to the right hand side of the reference point are fields labeled X and Y. So the X field tells us whereabouts on an artboard something is positioned from left to right and the Y field tells us the position relative to the top and the bottom of the artboard. But in our case, I want to make this logo appear 15 millimeters from the top of the current artboard. So to do that, I'm just going to click on one of the reference points along the top. Because I'm only trying to measure a distance from the top of the artboard to the top of this logo, it doesn't matter which of the top three I choose. It now tells me that my Y coordinate is set to 142.614 in there. But if I swipe over that value and then type in 15 and press return, it will then move that logo to exactly where I need it in the document. And then if we wish to just make sure that it is absolutely centered to this artboard, just adjacent to the transform panel, we have the align panel. If I change the align to mode to align to artboard with the object selected, I can then choose to align this logo horizontally to the center of the artboard. And you'll probably notice it doesn't move because by virtue of having the artboard centered on screen and the paste command pasting exactly in the middle of the screen, the two things should be aligned already. So it's always worth checking. From here then, we need to add this to every artboard in the document. There is a rather neat trick to this, but it starts with an odd, but it starts in an odd way. And that is that you'll go to the edit menu with the logo selected and choose cut. If I then go to view fit all in window, which means fit all artboards in window, then we have a view of everything in here. We can then go to edit and we can choose paste on all artboards. Now, the reason why we had to delete the original is because it will paste on every single artboard, including the first one. And we already had a logo on there and that's why we had to remove the original. So we didn't have a duplicate and it will select all of those logos when they're pasted. You can then click away and then for now, lock the top layer in the layers panel called titles. And I'll drag that layer panel back up to the top right hand side out of the way. And then I'll close down the transform panel as a really handy way of being able to uh, position something like a logo on one artboard and then paste it across all the other artboards in the document.